Hi, Soul Family. Happy, what day is this? Day after Christmas Day? <laughs> um, I'm going to show you our items to work with right away. Okay. We have four different items. We have Rose Quartz, the greatest love stone of all. And this particular stone is called uh, Nephrite Jade. Let me see it up close. Nephrite Jade. This creates a, a mood of tranquility and harmony and enhances greater inner peace. This is a good stone to counteract depression. So this came up for me because of uh, my cats and because of what I watched in my dreams last night. Now, my little one, Siam, is going through a very difficult time. And so is Lil, um, I keep calling her Lily, Willow. So I feel as though Lily and Willow are connected energetically. <clears throat> they are, um, because I know that they represent people in my life. So Willow and Lily are family, is what I've realized. And Lily has died, so Willow is in a sense of depression. And, and it's the truth. It's the truth. Willow's, um, and I said Willow's a vampire. She only comes out at night. She's used to being in a darker room. And her owner, her mother, died. Or his mother died. I call Willow a little man most of the time. So it's their protector has died and left them. And they've been used to being in a very quiet place, a darker place. They're not used to being out with other people. So she, Willow is dealing with feelings of depression. Loves me, but is depressed. Sleeps during the day. Is awake more in the evening time. Siam, he's going through a difficult time too. And it's interesting, in my dream last night, I was... Um, basically shown that you know what he's he's working his ass off trying to figure things out he's and he shouldn't have he's going from place to place he shouldn't have to be forced to be in other rooms he got out last night i let him out he went out with liger he, he seems to get along with, well, with liger liger brings him comfort let me just turn down the radio a little bit and uh so i thought okay go out and you know go out and check out the house the other cats are locked up downstairs you're not going to get hurt and uh <clears throat> it's common that we, we understand, we don't want um, Siam to get out and get into the garage or get into the workshop or get outside because we'd never find him again. So he's just still too unsure of everything. He's not very trusting, although he trusts me. He's terrified of my landlord. So he has been hurt for, by a male. So there is a person in my life that's been hurt by a male and uh, wants to go out and socialize, but got out last night and I saw him on the, on the dining room table at the chair and I said, okay, you know what, gave him love, doesn't run from me. But if I move too quickly, he does, right? So I got up about four in the morning and to see if he'd come back into his little tower because he normally does and he hadn't and I thought, oh God. So I went downstairs and sure enough, my landlord had forgotten and left the laundry room door open. Now think about what the laundry, laundry is doing your dirty laundry, cleaning, going through stuff, right? You're cleaning things up, but it's your own personal dirty laundry. So it's your own stuff. My landlord had left that open. So somebody has left something open in a family arrangement, has, has opened up uh, personal laundry, has aired dirty laundry, the door's open. I go in and I find him hiding behind the water heater. Now the water heater heats up your emotions, right? He's trying to get warm. He's trying to warm, um, warm to the touch. So I saw him and I'm, I'm naked because I sleep naked and I thought, good Lord, it's four in the morning my landlord's on the other side of the house. He's not going to, you know, get up and, and see me. So there I am in the laundry room, naked, pulling the, you know, talking to, and I'm talking to him, you know, reassuring him that everything's okay. It, it's all good. Remember, I said yesterday, it's, it's all good, babe. It's all good, right? You're, the landlord has left the dirty laundry open and, and we figured things out. You're trying to warm to the touch. I get it. It's okay. So I'm talking to him and... I pull the laundry, uh, the, the washing machine out, or the dryer is what it was. The dryer I pulled out. So he's hiding behind the water heater by the dryer. So he's trying to dry up his emotions. He's trying to warm up his, warm up to the touch. Okay, it all makes sense. So I, I get him after I, 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 I reassured him that I, I massaged him and put my hands on him. When I put my hands on him, he relaxes, which is telling me Reiki is required. So I, I pick him up. And I started to walk out and he started to tense and he's like, oh my God, and started to freak. And I thought, no, it's okay. Nobody's here but me. And we got to the top of the stairs and there was Liger and he calmed down, got him into the room and he scrambled into his tower. So he's stressed, right? So I realized my family needs Reiki, all of us. When Lily was living, I was working with her, right? Constantly for the last three and a half years, I worked with her and gave her um, Reiki healing. And I told, I knew that I was sending Reiki healing to someone in my twin's life. I knew that. And... When she passed, I, I stopped 
doing it as much and it's needed. So I decided that I was going to use Willow and through Willow I was going to connect to Siam, to Liger and to me and to my twin and I did Reiki on all of us for quite a while and he's in a deep, deep sleep. Very, very deep. I came to see him this morning. He's very, very deep sleep. Liger was sleeping underneath, undercover. I said, why are you undercover? Right? Willow's undercover, Liger's undercover, and he's in a deep, deep sleep. So this, these, this con con combination, this is amazing because this is Muscovite mica. That's the one thing I didn't actually look up. Now, everybody knows I love crystals. So if you're not interested in listening to this, you can fast forward and just get your message. But there's a lot of people that want this information. So Mis Muscovite mica, this is, these chunks are natural stones that I found in a river of quartz up in <clears throat> Idlewild in the mountains, my favorite place here. You can see the little metallic chunks. Those are Muscovite mica. And I had been telling everyone I was in the spiritual shop and I was looking at the stone and I'm like, God, that's so beautiful. It's this big rock. It was like $65. You know what's funny? I think about that now. $65 at the time seemed unheard of for me, like I couldn't afford it. It's the most beautiful piece. And uh, they sold it, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to go with my twin to the crystal shows. That's the one thing we talked about doing. So uh, I kept saying I need Muscovite mica for some reason. All right, John Turner, you just popped in right then. Let me, let me turn our phone line off so I don't get bumped off. I just decided Spirit will bring me my, my, uh, my readings um, after we're done with this. So I kept saying I need Muscovite mica. I just knew that for some reason. And so we started looking it up, but I wasn't calling it the right name. I was calling it something different. Huh, <laughs> calling it different. <clears throat> like say somebody online would call themselves John Turner, right? When they're actually somebody else. <clears throat> so um, I'm looking the song right now. It's you, babe. It's you, babe. So I was calling it something different and I kept describing it and, and they looked it up and they said, no, that's not it. And I thought, gosh, I don't know. So then I went to this beautiful stone and I said, what is this gorgeous stone? And they said, that's Muscovite mica. And I'm like, okay, that's it. I was calling it a different name, but that's what I was looking for. So I, I, I didn't have the money at the time. I went out to do our reading up in Idlewild and I looked at my river of crystals and I bent down and I picked up my first chunk and it's in my... Um, it's in the healing and dreaming with dragonflies. See the chunk right there? That's the muscovite mica. And it's in a river of quartz. So it, it shines, you can see it in the, in the light. So quartz, clear quartz, is an amplifier. So anything that, that is with it is amplified. Song right now, I've been trying to do it right. I've been living a lonely life. I've been sleeping here instead. I've been sleeping here in my bed. You belong to me, I belong to you. I'm going to um, turn it up a little bit. I don't know where I belong. I don't know where I went wrong. Okay, people are trying to figure their stuff out. So this is gonna help. This, this person has obviously been trying to do it right. It's been dealing with sadness and depression. Well, I now have, and what's interesting to me is I swear to God there's pyrite in here. There's like little rivers of gold. This, this vein that runs through this property in Idlewild, I would kill to live there in Pine Cove. I love it there. And uh, it's all in here. So this is an incredible um, combination of love, healing, um, and the, and the, what is it? The, um, the nephrite, you know, counteracting depression, love, rose quartz heals everything. It's the greatest love stone of all. The muscovite mica is for awakening. It's awakening. It's, it's psychic awakening. It's, there's, there's all kinds of different messages for this, but, and then together with the quartz and natural quartz crystal, which is a charger, an amplifier, it's all rooted. So there's your first message, right? That's your first choice. Then you have... Hematite, pyrite, and rose quartz. Rose quartz, again, being the most um, powerful love stone there is. Love heals everything. Pyrite is a um, grounding stone. It is a stone, it's a protect, but it's a protective stone. That's this one. This is fool's gold. It's another word for fool's gold, okay? Helps you get grounded. It helps protect you against um, any psychic attacks or any uh, environmental pollutants, any emotional attacks, any physical harm. It's, it's a protection stone. And then we have hematite, which is this shiny. And I always see myself with rainbow hematite, um, a shield around once I finish doing the solar meditation, the solar clearing and shielding. And hematite, again, it's interesting. It's a, the bloodstone, so it's a purifier. And um, it's also, again, a stone that's, that's used for protection. 
grounding, balancing. Every day I wake up and I pinch, I love this song. I pinch myself. Um, and hematite comes in red, which is interesting because I have a stone here. This is a collection of the quartz crystal from the river up in Idlewild. It's got the muscovite mica in it. And this stone is lololite and hematite mixed. It's incredible. My journey stone, my shaman stone that I got for my best friend, a ring, and I got one from me and mine hasn't come yet. I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to see it myself. But here's our journey stone, right? This is lololite or lodolite. But when you look on the back of it, see that red hematite? Look, that's what it is. So there's your other, and look at this. It's the shape of a heart, it's the shape of a kidney, it's the shape of a liver. So to me, cleansing, purifying, this one's awesome if you have alcoholism or any issues with your liver, your heart, or your kidneys, right? That's another choice that you have. Those are the three. And then we have... <laughs> I think I'm supposed to hold this. Put it in my bra. It's important to me. Don't be scared. Because you're all I need. Then there's this basket. This little woven metal basket. This was my mom's. No, it wasn't my mom's. But every time I think of it, I think of my mom. Because my dad would go shopping with my mom. My mom was a shopaholic. Everywhere they would go, every country they would go to, it was shopping. Right? And... My dad would sit with his pad of paper and pan and he would figure, he would do his work. You know, that's what he would do. And he would say, your mom, she's so cute. He says, she's gotta go into all the little shops and she's gotta go into all the little boxes and lift all the little lids. So when I saw this, I, I picked it up and I said, my mom would open up this little, and it's made of silver. It's tarnished right now, I, I'm gonna clean it, but you see the silver at the top? It's very special. And inside of it, there's a collection of things. There's my star, my true north. When I shoot for my moon, I'm gonna land amongst the stars. I heard that this morning. In it also is rose quartz, the greatest love stone of all. And then there's a red hawk feather. I'm the red hawk. All my life I felt, thought it would be hard to find the one I loved until I found you. This is my twin and soul and my, this is my wish box. This keeps us all tight. Silver is purified, right? Silver purifies water. Remember my little Siam, my little alien cat with the most beautiful blue eyes, was down behind the water heater next to the dryer, right? Trying to clear up the excess emotion, but trying to warm up and clarify his emotional waters. A little bit of tarnish, but isn't he beautiful? All right, you guys, those are your options. If you've, been, if you've never been afraid to lose someone, you've never loved someone like I, I love you. So here, we're gonna choose. Now, the items that we're gonna choose are in front of us and they're going to be given to us. This is water signs because it's about me and my twin. This is earth signs, this is air signs, this is fire signs. Interesting how I've chosen the order of that, isn't it? Bad romance. So let me see this again. I love my, my book that my best friend gave me, Shine Bright, I use it every day. And here's the mat that my landlord gave me from the dollar store, it works great. Okay. I want everything as long as it's free. I want your love, your bad romance. You and I could have a bad romance. I don't want a bad romance. I want a fabulous romance. I want the romance we had. New and improved. Oops. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the rose quartz. I'll just do the rose quartz cluster. That's fire. I'll do the silver basket. That's water. We'll do the... God, I love this. I really, really love this so much. This, you know, I just put it together this morning. I had this chunk together and this chunk, and then I decided I'd put that together, and I love it. It looks like a butterfly with a heart flying to me. Gosh, Phoebe. So, earth signs. Butterfly heart. Butterfly. I'm just going to call it the butterfly heart. And then air signs um, is going to be... Serpentine, serpentine love. I'll call it serpentine love. Okay, so let, now we're gonna get going. Now, the items, so we'll choose, um, I wonder if I'll just hold them up, maybe I will. We're gonna start with fire signs. 
and I heard two different decks. Okay, so we've got the messages from your angels and we've got the messages from your fairies. So since my mom called me Fairy Sherry, she used to, she used to be in her room on the phone with my Auntie Elaine, drinking her coffee. I'd make her coffee and toast in the morning. God, I miss my mom's physical presence, you know? And she would, she had the prettiest voice. My mom had the prettiest voice. I always feel like I have a voice like Marge Simpson. It's kind of masculine, right? But my mom had the most beautiful voice. And what's so funny is that when I hear, when people would call the house, my daughter, my mom, my aunt, and I all have the same voice. But isn't it funny how we hear ourselves differently? That's a voice in our head that tells us something different. Your voice reverberates inside your cranium, and it sounds different to you than it does to people on the outside. So that's another message. Be careful of the way you speak, because sometimes you don't realize the way you speak and how you sound. I sound angry sometimes because of the passion in my voice or because I'm no-nonsense, right? I have to be careful about that. Um, okay, so... My mom, she used to say, I can't do it. She had this really high voice. Fairy Sherry. It was so high, it was ear splitting, I tell you. And she would call me, Fairy Sherry. So, fire signs, we're going to be the fairies. Correct for neutrality on all levels. There may be a fire sign in your life that's gay. And that's okay. Gay guys make the best girlfriends. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> it's the truth. Okay, so for anyone who chose the Rose Quartz Cluster... Pyrite, hematite. I don't want to be friends. I want to be more than friends. Okay, here we go. Love life. <laughs> Yay! The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. Now, what's so cool is check out the two fairies communicating, right? She's sitting there on her little hothouse flower, her hibiscus flower. She's just like, da da da, kicking her heels. And you see that one flying right there in front of her? I think you're sexy. I like you. I like you a lot. Now, what's interesting to me is the little one that's sitting on the hibiscus flower, that could be a male. Remember I told you that my beautiful alien cat with the blue eyes was hit down there by the water heater trying to heat up his water, right? This is a little hothouse flower. Now, maybe, hmm, she's told you to sit your ass down, water, and heat up your ass on that hothouse flower. Or maybe you think about the fact that somebody is a hothouse flower. I'm a hothouse flower. All spiritual people, awakened people are hothouse flowers because we're sensitive. We're super sensitive. That's not a flaw. That's a quality. Super sensitive. So something going on with your love life right now, it's a positive, right? What is it that's going on with your love life? Well, we need, it needs protection. This is protection. This is grounding. Your love life needs to be grounded and protected. Love will heal everything. The song right now, my reputation's never been worse. You must like me for me. Yeah, I want you. We can't make any promises, can we? Is it too late to say all that? Was it too late to do this now? Is it too soon to do this now? Is it okay that I said all that, right? Somebody's nervous here. One, somebody else is reassuring the other person. Your love needs protecting. Your love needs to be grounded. Your love needs to be physical. And what I said this morning is, my intention is that, is it too soon to do this yet? No. I want up close, face to face. That's what I asked for this morning. I'm going to find this. Hold on a second. I'm going to find this because I literally said those words. And you want to talk about when you say words and then you let them go, right? You say it and you let it go. That's how you manifest, not by holding on, but by putting out your, your intention to the universe and allowing it to go. So where is the message from Barbara? Stay here, honey. I don't want to share. I just want you. I like you. Is it for the best? My reputation's never been worse. You must like me for me. Yep, there's love there. I want you. See, she says, yep, I want you. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to try and find. I've got to get the words because it's specific. Is it cool that I said all that? Is it chill that you're in my head? I know it's delicate. So what I said was, <sighs> subliminal messages in my dream time, right in your face messages so far today. You found your best friend at the curtain of the waterfall. Can you feel it? Now it's coming back. Can we steal it? If we bridge this gap, 
I can see you through the curtains of the waterfall. When I lost it, yeah, you held my hand, but I tossed it. I didn't understand that you were waiting as I dove into the waterfall. Who dove into the waterfall downstairs? So say, Geronimo, can you feel my love? Bombs away. Check it out. Titanium. Bombs away. This is a titanium bomb. This is love bomb. You're getting love bombed right now. Say Geronimo, well, we rushed it, moving way too fast. Remember I said I couldn't move that fast for my little Siam. It scared him, right? Someone else had hurt him in the past, and he couldn't be moving that quickly. Hold on. I've got to go back because my computer decided to go in a different direction. Please don't do that. Okay. So... Bombs away, right? Love bombs coming at you. Can you feel my love? Bombs away. We rushed it, moving way too fast, that we crushed it, but it's in the past. We can make this leap through the curtains of the waterfall. So say, Geronimo, can you feel my love? Bombs away. Well, I'm just a boy with a broken toy, all lost and coy, at the curtains of the waterfall. So here I stand as a broken man, but I found my friend at the curtains of the waterfall. Now I'm falling down through the crashing sound, and you've come around at the curtains of the waterfall. And you rush to me, and it sets us free. So I fall to my knees at the curtains of the waterfall. Say, Geronimo, can you feel it? Can you feel my love? Bombs away. Make this leap. Make this leap, my love. Make this leap. Can you feel me? And I'm going to show you. So there you go, Aries. I like that. I like that message. Thank you very much. Okay. Song right now. Oh, I love this song. I found a friend. I got to turn it up. I got to get the name of this. So your love life is ascending to a higher level and you should be happy about it. What can you do to make your love life happier like that? Song, what is this song? Touch me. Take me to a better place. Touch me. I know I'm not a hopeless case. Oh, bless. No, you're not. I said in my closet, I said in my closet today, I was talking to my twin, and I said, uh, you're all I ever wanted. You're all I ever wanted. You're all I, I still want. No, I wouldn't want anybody else. You've got everything I need and more, right? And I want to touch you. That's what I said, face to face. And see this song, touch me. Where this sounds like um you too right you too and john turner just commented again when i said you too the heart is a bloom shoots up through the stony ground there's no room no space to rent in this town you're out of luck and the reason that you had to care the traffic is stuck and you're not moving anywhere you thought you found a friend to take you out of this place someone you could lend a hand in return for grace it's a beautiful day skies fall you feel like it's a beautiful day don't let it get away you're on the road, but you've got no destination. You're in the mud, in the maze of her imagination. You're loving this town, even if it doesn't ring true. You've been all over, and it's been all over you. It's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. It's a beautiful day. Look at this day. This day is incredible. See the world. Touch me. Take me to that other place. Teach me. I'm not a hopeless case. I know I'm not a hopeless case. See the world in green and blue. Green and blue? Blue is the truth. Green is love and healing, right? 
See the china right in front of you. See the canyons broken by clouds. See the tuna fleets clearing the sea out. See the bedroom fires at night. See the oil fields first light. And see the bird with a leaf in her mouth. Do you know what that is? That's the dove of peace sending out. Dove comes back with a the, with the little leaf in its mouth. It means that the waters have receded. And it's peace and prophecy. It's a beautiful day after the flood. The sun and the colors came out. Don't let it get away. Touch me. Take me to that place. I know I'm not a hopeless case. What you don't have, you don't need it now. What you don't know, you can feel it somehow. What you don't have, you don't need it now. You don't need it now. It was a beautiful day. Song, I would have given you everything. I know I said I'm better now, but I only say that because you're not around. You say you're better now, but you only say that because I'm not around. I see you with that guy. He seems like he was pretty cool. But don't you know? You know, I guess life goes on sometimes, but don't you know I was... You're the love of my life. I would have given you anything. There's a lot of communication going on about your love life. It's ascending to a higher level. This is a love bomb going off. Protect your love life, right? What do you need to do to protect your love life? It's healing. It's ascending, but you've got to get involved. I'm doing all I can, right? And we fight for what we believe in. We fight for what we love. You used to keep my picture by the bedside. Now I see you with some guy I don't like. Now I'm ha drinking Henny with my brothers, trying to forget. Don't, don't drink with your brothers trying to forget. Go after the one you love. All right, now we go to water signs. Is that your brother that you're drinking with? Silver basket, right? This is water signs. There's all kinds of stuff inside, precious things inside of this. So we're gonna go to messages from your angels. Water signs, you're getting a message from your angel, okay? Correct for neutrality on all levels. When we're done, we're going to ask for some little um, healing cards from the Healing Angel cards. I love them. And we're going to go by sign after sign. So don't ditch out. you got to stick around. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Water signs. Whoops. My hair, my hair is always in the way. Water signs. Your dreams are coming true. Can't beat that with a stick. Right on. Your dreams are coming true. So there's three people here. So this could have to do with work because three represents, I mean, it's celebration time for sure, time for celebration. It could represent um, family. It could represent friendship. It could represent business, right? Dreams coming true because three, third party situation doesn't always mean somebody else is involved. It could mean work situations, right? And this is a positive. So there's good news. What you have been dreaming for is becoming a reality for you. So your prayers, your positive affirmations, your staying focused and connected and moving towards what it is that you believed in, it's paying off. It's called perseverance. And Spirit says, you know what? You keep the faith. Keep moving forward. Hold that there. You need to make a transition. You need to make a transition. You are moving in the right direction, but you need to hold on to positive energy. Keep your thoughts positive. You can't drop that for just a moment. Ask spirit and all of your angels and your the angels that are here with you to help you keep your faith, right? Help you stay positive. Because sometimes our own lack of self-worth, uh, remember the song, I would have given you anything. And the other one said, I know I'm not a hopeless case. It's your own negative self-talk right? That fucks us up. So ask spirit to elevate our thoughts. Keep me feeling positive. Keep me remembering where I am and where I came from. I just got love bombed, right? I just got love bombed from spirit. And I've got all kinds of gifts inside of here. The Red Hawk says a message is coming. Look at things from a higher perspective. There is love in here. You are a star. Reach for the moon and you will land amongst the stars. This is silver. It's coming to you. Silver is pouring down to you, right? Purify your thoughts. Silver purifies your water. Purify your thoughts, your words, your expression, right? That's what you need to do in order to continue to have this keep flowing towards you. We, we can fuck things up. We can stall things. We can send things going backwards. It's up to us how we handle things. So here's an affirmation. I love affirmations. Let's hold on to your gift basket, right? Everybody loves a gift basket. And you look at your dreams coming true. Who does this represent? Are these family? Are these friends? Are these work associates? Is this your lover coming to meet your family? Are your friends helping you get to your lover? Ooh! Right now, dreams are coming true. So my heart is filled with gratitude and excitement. Now, thing is, an attitude of gratitude is what manifests. We have to be grateful. Wake up every morning and look at all the things that you're grateful for, right? An attitude of gratitude. It's filled with gratitude and excitement because this is coming. I'm excited about this. 
I'm knowing the wonderful people and the situations that surround me right now. These people that are surrounding you, they're good people. They're there to help you. This could be soul family. It doesn't have to be blood family. It could be. It could be friends. But it could be spirit angels. It could be guides. But you've got good people, good situations. Say that affirmation again and again. Love that water signs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, I'm going to break down Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I'm going to do an angel healing card for each of the signs, okay? Because this is, I'm just, I realized I'm just doing groups, which is fine. Sometimes we need to switch things up. So the butterfly heart that I love so much, or earth signs, I love this. I will tell you something that I know. My twin has Virgo in his chart. He's a Virgo. So, earth signs, butterfly. Ooh, there he is, BMW. If you prefer the BMW, yes, I do. The BMW is always what my twin has driven. He's always driven a black BMW. And I don't care if it's a black BMW. He just always has. So whenever I hear that, I, it's my twin. So when I just finished saying my twin's got Virgo in his chart and they said black BMW, that's my babe. Okay? So I love this. I've chosen this. So let's go to fairies for earth signs. You could have, I said, you could have a gay friend, right? Please don't tell me my, my twin is gay. Not that I have a problem with it, but then I can't sleep with him. Then I, I don't think he is. <laughs> okay, correct for neutrality. Maybe he's got a gay friend that I love, right? Maybe it's Phoebe. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Earth signs. Wearing my... Earth sign ring. Peace of mind. Look how beautiful. Who loves it there? Me. The forest. Oh, so there's peace of mind. Okay, so first of all, where do you need to go to find peace of mind? I would say the forest. This is a place for peace. Peace of mind. It's also telling you that maybe you need to... Um, Dwell on what, what is it that, that, that brings peace of mind to you? What is important to you? What, what is it that's going to bring this peace of mind? It may be telling you that peace of mind is coming to you. It may be telling you that you need to find this. It's not something that you can buy. It's, it's uh, what do they say? A true master finds peace amidst chaos. You could be in a difficult situation, right? You create this. And you create it by being honest and truthful to yourself, realistic. You're going to focus on the positive. You're going to focus on... The good things in life. It wasn't okay, why wouldn't you just try the jewel? I'm not talking about the um the jewel. Why don't you just try it? What is a jewel to you? Um, you're punishing yourself. You're holding something back from yourself. Try something. Try the jewel. What does the jewel represent to you? What does the jewel represent to you? Low light, low to light, muscovite mica, clear quartz crystal, the jewel, the crystal. Try the jewel. It brings you peace of mind. This is where you connect to the earth. This whole entire, this is where you would find this. Idlewild, Lake Tahoe, Big Sur, the mountains, the trees, right? You need to connect to this. You need to practice bringing this kind of peace of mind. You, don't, you can be any of those places just in your mind. You can create a peaceful environment for yourself. That's my happy place. That's where I go. That lake with the trees around it looks kind of like Tahoe, doesn't it? It's beautiful. And there's my osprey and me. The mermaid in the forest. So to go to a place like that, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna bring you a sense of peace in nature. But you can, you, you can cultivate that mindset, that peaceful mindset wherever you are, and you do that by eating properly, by practicing positive thoughts. I keep looking outside because I'm looking at um, two white geese. White goose means um, something wonderful is about to happen. It also means that your plans are about to go sideways. You thought you were going here, you're going to go here. It also means that you might find yourself going off track for a minute, but it'll only be for a few minutes, and you're going to get back on track again. Um, I'm looking at another bird that I'm... Uh, it's too small for you guys to see, but I'm trying to figure out what this one is. I think that it's... a. Um,
Joy knows that bird. We always talk. It's a Grosbeak. Grosbeak. The Grosbeak has a message for us. Hold on a second. Grosbeak. Grosbeak. Has a message from Grosbeak. Come on. My computer is slower than dirt. So that's another message I wanted to bring up. I'm gonna turn this down. They're talking about alcohol, um, detoxification and programs to help one another out. And I'm looking at this thinking as well about this looks like a liver, it looks like a, a kidney, but liver is about um, alcoholism. So there might be somebody in your life that's dealing with an issue like this and it's about detoxification, right? One of the places that you need to be is in, in a place of nature. That's a good place to go. Maybe somebody's at a retreat. Maybe that's a place that you should go. Maybe it's a, um, a recovery center. It's a beautiful place to be. It's a good place to be. Um, but I was thinking about, um, oh, not this one, you guys. Give me something else. Hold on. I had a, I had a specific, what was I thinking about? Stop, stop, they're distracting me now. So that needs to go off. Okay, sometimes it's too much. I get so many messages coming that I have it, that I have to start filing them away. So um, special place, the grow speak. Mm. I said this morning, you know, if, you know when you get something, it starts and it, and it gels and then it goes away. See if it'll come back again. I'll, I'll wait and see if it comes back. It's important though. I, I, th I thought about it this morning and I said to myself, we need to speak about that. And then it left. So the grow speak, I knew that this was it. Grow speak is about um, healing family issues. So it's about, it's about, it's time to heal wounds um, and, and search for mental and emotional harmony, which is, look at this place, peace of mind. So there could be an issue within a family or within friendship or love. And it, it's talking about the grow speak that I kept, what, what I was seeing is I see the two geese, right? Sometimes geese are busybodies, right? They're, they're always involved. There's a group of, of, of um, grow speaks down there, and there's these two geese. And the one grow speak in the water stood up on the water, and it, you know how they do that, um, shook its arms, its arms, its um. <laughs> I'm thinking of Topol and Fiddler on the Roof. If I were a rich man, da 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 da, -da. Have you seen that? Oh my God, it's hysterical. Love that movie. So he's one of them. <laughs> he's one of them, so he's Jewish. Um, if I were a rich man. So um, the grow speaks are, he, he was in his emotional waters, but he was like flapping his wings around, right? And he's by the two geese. So the two geese are saying, your plans are about to go sideways, but the two geese also say something good is about to happen. And it's talking about harmony within family relationships, within friendships. It talks about forgiveness and caring. It talks about all of this is very important right now it, within all relationships coming forward. It's about balancing these situations and connections to your family. It's talking about recognizing the spiritual and physical aspects of things. And it teaches you to awaken to the surroundings that are increasing in your life right now. Well, what we got is you need to find peace of mind. Your stone is speaking about, um, they're talking about alcoholism. They're talking about, you know, getting yourself grounded, getting yourself out in nature, maybe a detox, maybe a, 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 a retreat. It doesn't have to be alcoholism. It can be anything. It can be money. I, I, I you know, I can think of, uh, if I were a rich man, right? Da, 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 I'm so consumed with money. There's an issue with work. So there's peace of mind that needs to happen. Maybe there's a, an issue with family in regards to work, in regards to money. Lack of, somebody's causing a stink down there. The gross speak clears up the problems. The gross speak says that there's a healing that's going on. You can have peace of mind, maybe an understanding that there's a healing that's taking place. Maybe that there needs to be forgiveness. There needs to be this happening. And spirit wants you to watch for new experiences coming in. This is thinking about how important the power of your voice is. I talked to you guys about that already, about, about how your voice sounds and how it carries weight, right? Somebody's down there flapping his wings in their emotional waters. That grow speak. If I were a rich man, la da 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 That's the father. The father, Topol, did not approve of his sons marrying this woman, right? There was a problem. But it was the wife that was more all over it. They, they believed in tradition. They wanted tradition. Tradition, right? As a Jewish person, this is the way we're supposed to do things. But the mother was the one that was more adamant. She was worried about what everybody else thought. 
And the father kind of was like, you know, he had a softer heart. So that's Topol flapping his wings around in the emotional waters. There's clearing that needs to take place. There's all coming up for a reason in this. Recognize and, 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 and your connection to your psychic abilities. The water is the greatest conductor of energy and spiritual energy, right? So this is another message. The trees are also ancient wisdom coming from the trees. Now I spoke about the osprey and the mermaid and it looks like Tahoe, right? They've got the trees and the water. It's kind of like a bigger area of, of where I am. And it looks like this. This looks like the giant redwoods. Someone's looking back over their shoulder, right? I'm going here. I'm looking back. I'm going here. I want the trees. I'm leaving, but I'm looking back at someone. Who am I looking back at? This is about awakening to something, awakening to forgiveness. This is about harmony coming forward. This is saying it's time to heal the wounds, whatever they are. So whatever this is in regards to, this butterfly is flying away. This butterfly is flying away, but someone looks back over their shoulder. Oh, the song. When you looked back over your shoulder lyrics i'll just give that one line because it I'll say you won't get let go i met you in the dark you lit me up you made me feel as though i was enough we danced the night away we drank too much i held your hair back okay so in the night you, you connect they connect in their dream time then you smiled over your shoulder for a minute i was stone cold sober right i pulled you closer to my chest you asked me to stay over i said i already told you i think you should get some rest right now there needs to be rest right there's talking about sober. That came up. There's a reason. Somebody's drying out. Somebody is in a peaceful place where this needs to happen. Maybe somebody needs to forgive something that took place in regards to drinking or childhood life, right? I grew up with an alcoholic parent. This is what was happening. There needs to be forgiveness. Maybe you have gone through something. I knew I loved you then, but you never knew because I played it cool. I was scared of letting go, but I know I needed you. I never showed. I want to stay with you until we're gray, old, gray and old. And then you smiled over your shoulder. This one was leaving, going into the trees. This is what I want. I want the trees. I'm leaving. But I smiled. I looked over my shoulder. This one is speaking. The butterfly is telling you. Right? Remember, I chased the butterfly. The butterfly flew away from me. So I, I came in my dreams. Remember all these songs coming together. Wow. These are all connecting. Phoebe, John Turner. Special message for myself. But man, there's a lot of messages in this, you guys. You pick up what works for you. Okay, so I'm going to turn the radio back on because that was just a slight distraction. It was just, but it gave me the message, didn't it? it? Talked about what I needed to hear. It's amazing. All right. Girls like you run around with guys like me. When I come through, I need a girl like you. Air signs. Serpentine love. So an air sign is a serpentine. There is a that's, a, that's healing, that's transformation and love and groundedness, right? And depression, overcoming depression. This is all here together. Love is the greatest healing stone there is. We think about our kundalini awakening. That's our, the serpentine, snake running up our back, right? All chakras highlighted, awakening. This person is saying, maybe I know that I'm drunk. Maybe I know you're the one. Maybe I think it's better if you drive. Okay, so you could be drunk emotionally it doesn't have to be physically right it's it's and it's something that, that you don't you're not um you're not seeing things you're seeing things kind of altered things are more uh amplified or your reaction time is not right right it, it affects your mind you can be drunk in love it doesn't have to be alcoholism it can be workaholism it can be loveism it can be food it can be i want to be a rich man da, 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 right i work too much okay so here we go air signs we're working with Message from your angel, okay? Correct for neutrality on all levels. I think 2000, 2019, it's going to be a damn fine year for me. It's going to be a damn fine year for you. So you just tell yourself that. These signs are, all these messages are freaking awesome. Correct for neutrality on all levels. It's giving us guidance about what we need to do, and it's showing us great stuff coming, right? So keep it positive. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct neutrality. In my little mini, my mini Winnie, <laughs> my Winnebago, they put a new picture up today and showed me um, more room. And there's like a treehouse bed. It's above the cab. It's, <laughs> I love that. But I'm thinking, I, I don't, I'm going to have to have a special place to put all of my stones. My Winnebago is going to weigh, uh, weigh a ton with all my crystals. Maybe I think it's better if you drive. I could drive that. I could drive the Winnie. Correct for neutrality. Maybe somebody lost their license. You need to drive. 
right? You gotta drive, I don't have my license. It's gonna be two years before I get it back. It's been real difficult. I know, I had, I had a DUI. I got two. I got two, I wasn't even a drinker. I, obviously I did drink, but, I, but that's not my thing. But it was experience, it, it, it was for, for me to understand, you know, how it can affect your life. You can lose a job, you can't get to places, right? I can't drive, I can't get to you. Okay, then I'll come to you, right? I think it's better if you drive. All right, air signs, here we go. For those who chose the serpentine love. Dietary change. Okay, so no drinking, stop negative self-talk, watch the food that you take in, it's time to go on a detox. Definitely time to go on a detox. Improve your diet and your life will improve as well. So what do you need to detox? You need to detox from alcohol. You need to detox from junk food. You need to detox from negative self-talk. Do you need to detox from toxic people around you? Your environment? Uh, do you need to get out there and start exercising? I do, I do. I was saying today I wanna have, I'm going to have the readings that I need so that I can get out and power walk. I want to power walk. My body needs to start tightening up. I want to be hiking those mountains and I don't want to be feeling loose, right? I want to feel good. So right now, detox, song right now. You only love her when you lose her. You only need the light when it's getting low. You only miss the sun when it starts to snow. You only love her, know you love her when you let her go. Maybe you're in a snow country and you miss the sun. You only know you've been high when you've been low. You only hate the road when you're missing home. You've been working so much you've not been around. You only know you love her when you let her go and you let her go. So right now, Spirit is saying your metabolism is very sensitive. Could be sensitive to other people's energy. Could be sensitive to your own self-talk. It could be sensitive to smell. Um, super sensitives like us, I'm very sensitive to certain things. My cats, I can only put certain um, the oils in the diffuser because they're very sensitive, right? Cats are very sensitive. My twin and I are both cats. We're very, very super sensitive. So be careful about that. If you're sensitive about something, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It means that you need to be in an environment that doesn't doesn't push your buttons, right? Something pushing your buttons right now. Um, but whatever it is, you're being guided to do something healthy. Make, make a healthy change for yourself. New friends, new job, um, an environment. Right? Get out of the city and go to a beautiful place like we saw in the Peace of Mind card, right? You need to change your environment. So right now, what I'm looking at is a young person talking to a, a grandmother. It's a, it's a woman talking to her grandma, and they're having a conversation. This is improving your diet. When I talked to my grandma, I talked about how I wouldn't be on my cell phone ignoring my grandmother. My grandmother was special to me. She meant a lot to me. So this is someone listening to the wisdom of someone older than them. Could be a grandfather, right? It could be your dad, it could be your mom, I don't know. Somebody is talking to an older person and they're listening because gray-headedness is a sign of wisdom, right? Somebody may be not much older than you, but they may be an old soul. Somebody is giving you advice and you're listening right now. So consult somebody. What do you need to help yourself? Is there somebody in your family that's not doing well? Is it your grandma? Is it your dad? Is it your brother? Is it your uncle? Is it you? Consult somebody to help you. Stop drinking alcohol, stop taking drugs, stop doing the things that are fucking up your body, right? Listen to what's being told. Eat a more vegetarian diet, says the vegetarian. It's healthy. Maybe you need, I need help from my twin about the type of things that I can eat as a vegetarian, right? So consult with somebody who has a better knowledge of things. He does. Help me out, babe. I need the help, right? My skin's gotten all crepey. I need the help. Okay, so there's that. And that's, that's for you guys. Short, sweet. And we're going to go to, for everybody, the Healing Angel cards, and we're going to break it down, okay? So we're going to start with, who did we start with? Fire signs? You only need the light when it's burning low. Oh, I love the way this deck shuffles. I love the way this deck shuffles. It's a little deck. It's small, but it's mighty, right? It's just another example of it doesn't have to be big and extravagant to be good, right? This is powerful. It's a powerful deck. It's little. All right, Aries, what is the message for you? Aries, what's the most important message for you? For all Aries people, or for those who chose the basket. I had these sitting on the heater. They're all warmed up. <laughs> the words are all warmed up. Aries. Heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. 
Been four years, no call. I know it breaks your heart that I moved to the city with a broke down car, four years, no call, but now you're sitting pretty in a hotel bar. What is your heart telling you? Are you getting something from your head? Are you getting, remember I said yesterday, sometimes we get messages. We don't understand why we're getting messages. And yesterday we were told, just go with what your heart is telling you, no matter how confusing the outside around it seems, what is your heart saying? Your heart spe spells the truth, right? So when you make your decision, take into heart, into mind, what is my heart and soul saying about this situation? Your mind can can get in the way. The mind knows rewind. It knows history, ancient history. It doesn't know what's coming in the future. Your heart does. Sagittarius. Pull the sheets back off the corner. The sheets that you stole from that mattress in from your you stole from the mattress in your from your roommate in Boulder, Colorado. Colorado's come up for me. Boulder's come up for a long time. Remember when I went to Santa Cruz Mountains, Boulder? And I thought, is it this Boulder? Boulder Creek? But it was probably Boulder, Colorado. Saggies. Positive thinking. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with a positive belief and thought are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry. Think love. Keep it positive. Leos. What's up with you, Leos? Maybe you're the roommate. Breaks your heart. Moved to the city in a broke down car. Four years, no call. Now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar. I, I, I can't stop. No, I, I, I can't stop. So baby, pull me closer in the back seat of your rover. Correct for neutrality on all levels, Leo's. Gratitude. Make gratitude your new attitude. The stars will shine brighter upon you. All in your world will become lighter. So focus on gratitude. An attitude of gratitude is how you will manifest. All right. So now we go to water signs or the silver basket. Correct for neutrality on all levels, water signs. Pisces. What's up? heart song. What is your heart saying? Isn't that what Aries got? Pay attention to your heart and soul. What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines from through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. Your truth is love. Pay attention to what your heart is saying. Stop and listen to it. Sometimes, as with the signs we got yesterday, the snow fairy, snow angel, you got your signs. You're just refusing to listen. So pay attention. Scorpio. Correct for neutrality on a level, Scorpio. Whoa, you guys, yours flipped right up. Imagine, clearly visualize the life you want. Feel it in your heart and soul, and soul it will come to be. Feel the life that you want. Feel it in your heart and soul, so it will come to be. Feel it. Get a picture. See it, talk it, draw it visualize it and start feeling the energy my solar plexus when i was doing reiki on my on my family my fur family and my twin i had my solar plexus and my heart chakra spinning feel that energy it's working cancer i am healthy i'm strong oh happiness hit her like a bullet in the back dog days are over the dog days are done the horses are coming so you gotta run Woo! yeehaw Happiness. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Cancer. At diversity. The world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Celebrate your uniqueness. You are special and much loved. We don't want to be the same as everyone else. It's boring if everyone's the same. Diversity. Diversify. I like it. Wonderful. Butterfly people or earth people. Capricorn. Middle path. Embrace both sides. The middle path is the road to the balanced, more peaceful life. You don't want to go that way. You don't want to go that way. You want to stay straight and narrow. Stay right down the center of your path, your soul's path. Embrace the middle. You don't. You, so basically, you're being asked to get balanced, right? Get balanced. You need to find balance. Woo! Wow! Look at that. Stuff went flying. Holy granola! What's up with that? You gotta get balanced. Cause shit's flying all over the place. Maybe you're flying somewhere. Oh, 
cool. All right, Cappy's, so that was, so Virgo babies, Virgo babies. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You hard workers, you. Virgos are known for being hard workers. So are Capricorns. Grounded earth kind. These are the king and, and prince and uh, prince and princess and queens of pentacles, right? Work, work, work all. I'm a workhorse. No, I'm a workhorse. The, the horses are coming. Whoa. Who did I say? Virgo? Wisdom. Everything has a place and a purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance, and compassion for all things. If you're wise, you will have tolerance and compassion. There again, finding balance, right? All right, Taurus. Correct for neutrality, Taurus. Correct for neutrality on all levels, Taurus. You know what I love about curling my hair? This is second day hair and it works. Like that. <laughs> You do your hair straight, and the next day it's like, ugh. Okay. Correct neutrality on all levels. Taurus. Positive thinking. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry. Think love. All right. Air signs. Gemini. Gemini. I'm a Gemini rising. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Correct for neutrality. Gemini. Positive thinking. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. Positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry. Think love. You guys see me shuffle, right? You see me. Hold on, my lips are chapped. The dog days are over, the dog days are done. Kind of like, you know, the dogs will stay in chains, right? Spirit says, wait till you're announced. We have not yet used all of our graces. The dogs or the hounds will stay in chains. Everyone competing for a love they won't receive. What the palace wants is relief. Dog days are over, dog days are done. They're out, the horses are coming. So you better run. Ooh, that's another message. Horses are here, dogs, you better run. Correct for neutrality on all levels. <laughs> Libra. Libra. What do we have to say, Libra? Support. Libra. Support. I just heard support. Correct for neutrality. Libra needs support or somebody. Libra, maybe you can help support someone. Heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. Aquarius, let's enjoy right here, right now. Who knows where the road's supposed to lead? We got nothing but time. As long as you're next to me, it's going to be all right. Correct neutrality. Aquarius. Harmony. I, that's my favorite word, my favorite all-time word, right? I want to get married in the town of Harmony. I love it. I love it. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. Think harmony. Yay! All right, you guys, that's it. We're at a wrap. At just under an hour. I don't mean to be so uptight, but my heart's been hurt a couple times by a couple guys or girls who didn't treat me right. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm tired of the fake love. So show me what you're made of, boy. Girl, make me believe. Whoa, 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 hold up. Don't you know you're beautiful or handsome? It's easy to see. If it's meant to be, it'll be. As long as we're together, everything's going to be all right. Yeah. I love this reading. It's positive. It's happy. It feels like spring. It feels like new beginnings to me. Yay. Okay, what did I say? I was in my closet and I said I want up close and personal, right? Face to face. But there was something else we talked about with the coots, and why did that not come up again? We have to remember what that means. Maybe spirit will give me a clue. What is it? What was it that I needed to understand, that I needed to bring up, that I needed to remember? Nature is amazing. Hmm. 
I can't think of what it is. I tried. It might come back later, and if it does, I'll, I'll bring it up in a post, or I'll write it down. I'm pretty good about writing notes. I should have written it down. I just thought it was there, and I got it. And you know what? I'll, 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 when I'm editing, if it pops up again, I'll put it in the notes. I hope you guys do read the notes. Hey, if anybody wants help with the reading, um, uh, if they were interested in a crystal cluster, I create these, right? Ceremonial Sage Wand, Diffuser Bracelet, Crystal, Reiki Charged, Dream Analysis. I'm your girl. www.theangelswhisper.com. Uh, my email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Ooh, someone's bringing sexy back. Yay, bring it, babe. <laughs> Please like, sh sh uh, subscribe, and share if you find these videos um, helpful for you. And I love the messages and notes I'm getting from you guys. I'm getting lots of emails. It's awesome. Someone's bringing sexy back because other boys, they don't know where it's at. Same thing with the girls, right? Yeah. Love you guys.